I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Or today we're following the sun. That's right. Oh, and the moon. And the moon. We're doing them both. <laughs> today is Monday, April the 8th. We are in Whitney, Texas, which is in the path of totality of the eclipse. It is supposed to be cloudy, although right now the skies are starting to break and we're getting some sunshine, so we're excited. Yes, we are. It's about 1030 Central Time as we're filming this. Uh, the partial is supposed to start around 1230. Yep. And we are going to be out here shooting to try and put a great uh, eclipse video together for you if the clouds hold off. And it's very, very iffy about yeah. that. Actually, I think the totality is supposed to start at 12.30. So yes. we're starting the partial right now. Okay. So, yeah. So anyhow, we'll be shooting this as we go along to bring you the footage. We don't know what we're going to have for you at the end of this video, but come along with us and enjoy the eclipse. Thanks. Now here we are getting set up. We've got a total of six cameras that we'll be using during the day today. And we are here in Thousand Trails Lake Whitney, right outside our campsite, and we've got a great view of the sky. Not just us, but it looks like everybody's coming out to see what's going on today. Well, we're now at 1130 and we're starting to see some clouds rolling in. We're getting some patches where it's still clear enough to see everything but we are getting some clouds rolling in well it's just about 12 15 the sun is still out and everybody is getting outside and getting ready we do have some clouds in the sky but so far things are holding out pretty decent, better than what was forecast. And you can see people are starting to get out and get their gear set up for the big event. Okay, it's now 10 minutes to 1 central time. So we're about a half hour into it. And uh, it gives a pretty noticeable chunk out of the sun at this point. So we've got probably about another 40, 45 minutes until we reach totality. And we're about one o'clock and we're starting to get some clouds rolling in. But we still get a decent shot of it every now and then. And Kathy has not given up on it. We are definitely getting a few more dark clouds right now. It is about 12 minutes past one. So we're a little over a half hour away from the beginning of totality. Yeah, hoping that we get some breaks in the clouds. What we're seeing over here, definitely a lot more blue to the sky, but the skies are just darkening in general because there's less sunlight. Well, we're down to about the last 15 minutes before totality and the skies have broken. 
We've got nice blue skies right now, hoping it lasts. We're down to about five minutes before we hit totality. And when you start to look around now at the ground, it's not nearly as bright out as what it was. The air has gotten cooler. Well, we're down to just a sliver, but it keeps getting darker and darker. And on the camera, you don't really appreciate how much darker it's got gotten. And you can actually just stand here watching it, seeing it getting darker and darker. I think we're about two minutes away from totality at this point, And we have got a beautiful clear sky. We are lucking out. Yeah, it's saying 137 right now. Totality is supposed to start at 138. Just in the last minute, it's gotten darker and it's like somebody's just shutting the lights off right now. Oh, yeah, pull, pull off your filter. Wow. I can't believe we got that. And yes, you can see stars. That's how dark it has gotten. You can actually see the moon is starting to move up to the top of it. There you can see it reflecting in my windshield. Looks like we're starting to see a little bit of almost like a sunrise or a sunset looking sky over, I guess in the south western sky starting to get a little bit of color totality here is supposed to be 138 to 142 and it's 142 right now and you can uh, just start to see that the one edge is getting thinner on it. Yeah, we're getting 
Oh, bright light on the edge. Wow. And that quickly, that passed, according to the clock on my camera, 40 seconds. And we have daylight again. Well, that was the fun part. Now comes the exciting part to see yes. what we actually got. Yes. We are sitting down and we are uploading. We've got more USB things plugged in everywhere, batteries charging. So we're gonna get out and get this edited for you. It is not quite four o'clock, so it's only been about an hour since we started packing everything up. And we hope that the video that you've seen ahead of our ending today was great because for what we're seeing it looks like we've got some good stuff to work with and i have to say it was a blast it was so much fun doing this it was I mean, she was <laughs> on on the eclipse scale she was a 10 i was probably a six or a seven I've, i'm converted i'm up to at least a nine now it was it was amazing yeah i i just was i was a little nervous because i've never shot an eclipse before but uh, man, um, seeing what I've got dumped out of the camera so far, I'm just like going, oh, wow. <laughs> and it was really neat doing it in the campground it because was. when it hit totality, the whole thing changed so much and you heard everybody yelling and screaming oh, and clapping yeah. from all over. I think somebody over. was sending off fireworks. Yeah. I heard fireworks off in the distance. It was like, this is so awesome. And if any of you saw this downspout uh, holder that goes on your house to hold the downspout against it on her camera. She picked this up off of another YouTube channel that when you put it on top of the camera, the light will go through this little hole. You line it up to where the light goes to the other hole. And you kind of have to bend it a little bit. Yeah, to, uh, had to tweak it a little yeah. bit, but that's how when the sky is dark and you can't find what you're looking for, you'd line it up to where the light goes to the other hole and it was right in the lens. So keep that in mind as a cheap little trick to that, help you the next time there's an eclipse. That's right. And there also, there was a, a follow up to this is that will help you get it. But then if you have a live um, 
thing on your on your camera where you can look at it like you would your phone then I had that going as well so I could line it up using the little holes here and then check on on the, the live screen. screen to uh, make sure it was centered and um, that really helped me to have all of my all of my shots of most of them <laughs> <laughs> so with that, if you've enjoyed the video, leave us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. At the end of the video, you'll see a button in this top corner. If you haven't already subscribed, click that button. You can subscribe and ring the notification bell so you'll know when every one of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we are following that moon. Absolutely.